The idea of membership was very intentional. We didn't want to use clinical or social work language here, uh, and we really wanted every part of our program and organization to function as a youth and adult partnership. We're not the experts. We're not here telling youth what they should be doing and what they need. They know that and we're just helping them identify what that is and the process to get there. So membership implies that you are choosing to be a part of this culture and this space and then you just need to know what that means. So when a person comes for the first time, they're given a tour. They hear about how they should expect to be treated with dignity and respect and as the expert in their own life. And then we talk a lot about safety and inclusion and how for HQ to be successful, every young person has to feel safe here and has to feel okay being themselves and celebrated as an individual. So that's really the process. It's short and sweet. We work to uh, verify a person's birth date so that we can make sure it's safe and there aren't older people here recruiting, for example. But that's it. A person doesn't have to share their legal name. Uh, it's not about how homeless are you really. If, if you're coming here and this is a place where you take a shower, clearly there's something going on and we just want to, to be that support for you.